Welcome back. City News has confirmed there are now three cases of measles in the Hamilton and Halton area. Joining us now, Dr. Monica Howe of Toronto Public Health. Thank you so much for coming in. You're welcome. Uh, just in our morning meeting and across our newsroom here, we had so many questions when it came to measles. We haven't heard about it for a long time. It's yeah. been a few years since the latest outbreak in Ontario. So should we be concerned? So measles has seen a resurgence in the past a uh, few years um, and over the past few months in Ontario uh, largely because of cases that have been uh, picked up overseas so either through cases in the Philippines that have been affected through natural disasters or through countries in Europe such as the Netherlands which have seen a drop in vaccination rates okay. and a subsequent increase in measles and people traveling from those countries to Canada do bring it back and it can spread. Now when it comes to vaccinations how often do you need to vaccinate? You need to vaccinate uh, two times and the current schedule is a baby should get it at 12 months and again at four to six years. Okay now if you are traveling to places like the Philippines then you should vaccinate prior to that or how does that work? Absolutely yeah. we do encourage anyone who is traveling to a, a country with high levels of measles to get vaccinated and although generally babies are vaccinated at 12 months you can get your babies vaccinated at six months they just need to get an extra dose of MMR or measles mumps rubella vaccine when they return. Okay, let's talk about symptoms because sure. they can be subtle. That's right. So, you know, the initial symptoms of measles can often be confused with other viruses. So you have a fever, cough, runny nose, but the hallmark sign, which usually occurs about four days after those symptoms, is a rash that starts on the face and can spread to the rest of the body. Complications of measles can include pneumonia, a swelling of the brain, or even death. Okay, so and, and of course it depends on your health, on, on how vulnerable you might be to this being um, deadly. That's right. So everyone is at risk of serious uh, infection from measles, but those who are most vulnerable include infants, people with weaker immune systems, or pregnant women might experience miscarriage or premature delivery. Well, something that people should know, and we covered this in our stories uh, earlier on in the show, that this is an airborne disease. That's right. It, measles is one of the most infectious diseases that exists. And for example, if someone with measles walks into this room, and once they leave, they're still, uh, you can still get it two hours after that person has left. So it is airborne and spread very easily. And it's not, because a lot of people think that it's a surface, you know, that you have to yeah. touch this way. So it is, you have to be very, very careful, of That's course. Right. Uh, when it comes to records, we were talking briefly about those yellow cards. Yeah. Slowly this um, panorama system is going to be coming out, rolling across the country. In the meantime, people just, what should we do? Just be aware, know your records. That's right. So what Toronto Public Health and other health units across Ontario routinely do um, is we assess all students immunization records on a yearly basis so for Toronto that means th about 350,000 students are assessed and so they have to submit their records to Toronto Public Health um, as a requirement for school entry um, and unless they file an exemption for medical reasons or conscientious or religious beliefs. Okay but if you're an adult and you're out of school and you're not seeing that happen yearly uh, just know what to do. Exactly. Two doses of MMR.